Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today at dusk in the forests. Or, or I don't actually name know the name of this forest. It's the Gloomy Hills. We're in the Gloomy Hills, it's beautiful. And um, and uh, we killed some, uh, what were they? They were grave robbers. Uh, and uh, we did very good, and uh, I was very happy with how things turned out. We also got new armor, which is pretty decent. Did you kill them all? Is it secure? You shrug. Nobody will be digging up graves anytime soon. Or down graves, for that matter. So, that's a lot of money that we got. Oh, and the beautiful quality wood over here. Oh, and more cured meat over here for very cheap. Um, okay, so... What do I want to do? Th this is good, because we, we need to sell these things. That's our objective. Do I want to buy a little bit of tools no no I do not they're not ideally priced although these bandages are bandages very nicely priced that they are okay so last episode we were taking care of um, um, our, our th this position of our team and all that sort of stuff and we were having fun and all that but I didn't I didn't consider the bandages I will need to prioritize that pretty soon because, uh, well, it depends on what we're going to fight. There are some enemies that are just brutally heavy on, on bleed. The game didn't used to be like that. The game was like, very incidentally, you'd get you'd find bleed. But now, bandages and, and uh, preparing proper, uh, pro appropriately is very, very important. Uh, so we got relatively cheap tools over here. It's not ideal. We got more bandages, so we're going to buy them as well. Uh, and I will buy the tools as well. We got some nice helmets over here. Not that we need them. Or those ones, anyway. We need better. Uh, we have a two-handed wooden flail. That's the beautiful thing. It's what that is. And uh, it's important to pay attention to the tools. Sometimes there are tools that are cheaper than the others. And, and, and it doesn't make much sense, but that is the case. What happens is, I think, like, maybe there's, like, extra items. Or uh, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Maybe there's uh, extra items that, uh, that come from other sources rather than the normal trading. Uh, and speaking of trading, I want uh, an alchemist thing. Um, and uh, look at that. A retired soldier. Unfortunate. I needed a, retri a retired noble. And we got an architect over here. It's amazing. Ooh, the houndmaster. I need the houndmaster. We need the houndmaster. The houndmaster is so important, but because you can get wolves. I want wolves. Let's see. I miss my wife and my two daughters. Well, that's... I don't know what to tell you. Um, then we have an armor over here with the equipment that we need. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that I like to go for. Well, ideally, the coat of plates is what you want to go for. Because it is... While it is very heavy, it is 320 armor. But the lamellar harness is relatively cheap. So maybe we are going to want to... Cozy up to this. To, uh, to these guys over here. Uh, we can't do it right now, but that doesn't mean we're not going to do that. Uh, especially because they're all the same family over here. Uh, and I say that because, well, they probably like me a little bit already. I did a few missions for them. No, they don't like me. They're just sort of, nah, it's fine. Uh, in fact, nobody really likes me all that much. Sort of uh, one of those things in life. But, uh, ooh. What the hell What were, th were they called? Orc Marauders, not Orc uh, Annihilations. It's Orc Young, it's fine. We're a little bit injured, but then with our armor all broken, but it's fine. We have spear balls, uh, and uh, they're coming. So we're pressing F on the ones that we know we're not going to use because they can't reach us in a single turn. And uh, should have pressed F on everybody, to be honest. And just spear wall F, spear wall F. We're actually in a very good position. Look at this. We got our spears all up in the air. That's how it works. Spears up in the air! In our middle line. Uh, this is not ideal. Uh, this is not ideal at all. 39? Oh, because that guy's being protected. Uh, let's go ahead and get Gearhead a couple of shots there. And uh, 58. Misses both of the 58. That's how I roll. And let's see what our spear ball can do. It's not gonna do much. It did some, and there's nobody there. Which is important to pay attention to. Hmm. Hmm. This is curious. 
43 landed one of them. 42 landed two of them. This is curious, curious that they're actually not breaking through our spear ball. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. That guy's a danger. It's the size of his hammer. Sorry, it's an axe. I know the difference. Okay. Some of them are the, the spear wall itself. Mad Larkin. Is it, who is it that's very tired already? Heimrad. Heimrad, did I give you better armor or something? No, I didn't. I gave you normal armor. It's just that he was wearing something. Well, speaking of Heimrad, he's now being under he's under attack. Uh, we're going to need to pull, pull, walk forward. Uh, okay, we're going to wait, because I do want to take advantage of the spear balls as they exist right now. Uh, let's see. 53. Landed one. That guy has a shield wall. That guy doesn't have a shield at all. Oh, and I hit the other one. Oh, because of the cover. That's right. It's, it's how it works. Wow, Hamrad is just MVP right now. And Brian... Uh, that is a problem. And Brian is now stunned. So, Phanius, these guys are going to go. So, we're just going to wait a little bit, little bit longer. And Heimrad cannot shield wall as of right now. So, he's waiting. And Medlarkin can... I say shield wall. Cannot spear wall. Uh, Medlarkin can spear wall, which is a bit of a surprise. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And Heimrad almost got hit, but didn't. Uh, so I want to hit you there because you're ugly. Uh, let's see, 57. Let's move you right there. Why did I do that? I'm such a silly person. 56, 50, 65, I should say. I, I can read numbers. Okay, so... There's problems. There's lots and lots of problems. That's Heimrad. Heimrad is going to be... Yeah. See what I can do here. Thirty-two percent chance to hit. Didn't hit much. Okay. And Elias can stay where he is. Uh, yeah, let's just keep him where he is. Phineas can move up a little bit, just to discourage. That's really bad news. Bernard is gonna die. Things going as they are. Medlarkin can actually rotate. No, because he's stunned. M Medlarkin cannot rotate. Medlarkin gets a kill, though. Oh, come on. Okay, they're not attacking there yet. Uh, but they are attacking our archers. And that is a bad thing that they are doing. 42, 72, that is a hit. Uh, 95, that is another hit. Okay. Uh, Brian gets a kill. But not much more than that. Goes in, but can't rotate. I'll wait. Uh, let's attack you here. That's misses. Uh, can't do much from here, and I am risking hitting Bernard. 70%. Might as well go for that. Uh, they can't attack you from here. Let's get you down there. Can. 12. Miss. I was expecting that. Can try and push you, but it didn't work. Uh, can go down there. Heimrand. Or Heimrad. Come on. Who misses? Ah, oh, you mother. Somebody tell me that it's possible to tell if you died or not. Has struck down Bernard the Scholar. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. I don't think it is possible to see what, what if you have or have died or not from there. But Bernard is dead. But for as far as I can tell, anyway. My Larkin goes in for the vengeance. Let's see what I can do next turn there. Uh, yeah, the. I don't like that the rotate doesn't work if you uh, if the person is stunned. Th that's a that makes the rotate very use useless. That guy was trying to flee. Why? Okay. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I this guy's apparently trying to flee. I'm not sure why. Uh, got a dog over here. And they're all trying to flee. That's what they deserve. Oh, miss. Oh, you can't go over. 
I mean, you can't. You just it would take longer. Run them down. Well, the dog is going to run them down. Ooh, Bernard came back. With a missing eye. That's beautiful. Bernard the Scholar is back. Oh, minus 50% range skill is... Uh, is a little bit of, a, of an overestimation of the impact your uh, your a missing eye would have. I it, it's uh, especially considering that you know just the uh, one of the it's not necessarily the best thing to do as far as I'm aware, but one of the sto sort of stereotypical ways of using a bow or using a ranged weapon in general is actually closing one of your eyes. So I know it. I, I mm, anyway, I know it is gonna do have an impact for sure, but um, mostly because people get trained to use things uh, the way they are um but i think it's more of a joke than anything else it's just like missing eye how many eyes do you have what two now you have one 50 percent out so it's, it's sort of a joke rather than anything else at least that's how i see it it might not be a joke it might just be wrong because it is so why are you hemrod is bad hemrod needs to go how is hemrod this bad I'm sorry, Hamrad. I'm sorry I'm saying all these mean things about you. Look at that. Are you a... Oh, because he's a bowyer. Right. That's why I remember. Or that's why I don't remember specifically. Uh, so we got fatigue over there. It's not really my cup of tea. Uh, ranged defense is an interesting thing to have, especially for, for them, but I can defend them a little bit. Uh, now you're going to specialize. So you're going to be... Are you going to be relatively good at that? No, not really. I'm, I'm hoping that we find, like, a really, really good ranged combatant and I can specialize them in... Um, in... Uh, uh, I can specialize them in, in the thing. Bullseye. Yeah, fast adaptation comes first. Uh, specialize them in crossbows, is what I mean to say, instead of the thing. Uh, we have... That's a lot of resolve right there. Yeah, that's that's reasonable as well. Did we get anything in interesting out of here? Apart from stuff that we can sell, that we definitely can sell. Really expensive stuff in general. That's very good. It's all very good that we got this. Oof, yeah. Killing orcs is just very profitable. <laughs> It's very dangerous as well. You die. Uh, so, Knight at Arms over here. Uh, not getting... Yeah, Knight at Arms is... Yeah, I'm just going to maybe bring Sakreen to the back. That seems like a, a plan, to be honest. Um, and keep Knight at Arms as a, uh, as a backliner as well. Because I think he's specialized already in things. So... Initiative, for sure. Uh, let's see. So, I want to hire a gladiator pretty soon. And that would substitute Heimrad. Likely would substitute Heimrad. Now, we got a backstabber over here. We got a, an executioner. And having polearm mastery is very important, honestly. I feel I feel like this, this is just crucial. It just changes how you use the characters very much. Uh, very much so, I feel. So, we're going to go with that. And uh, we're probably going to spend a little bit of money. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much money we can spend, in fact. Because I want to I wanna go to a temple and I want to heal people. Uh, I was going to say we're going to spend a little bit of money healing people. But I'm not sure that is possible. Um, anyway, we're, uh, we're in a good place. Uh, tools are really cheap over here. So, I'm just going to buy a couple. And bandages are also here, as well as a Nifa. Or a Knif, as it, it's a, I don't know why I said Nifa. Obviously, it's, it isn't Nifa, but what I mean, Knif is, a, is the original. Oh, no, that sucks. I bought the wrong weapon. I mean, I didn't. I, I just shouldn't have bought it. Um, I thought I was missing something, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is... the po I'll sell it elsewhere. Uh, the point is, the original Nordic sort of Anglo-Saxon thingy word... From the Vikings was Knif. And it sort of I think it was pronounced Knif. 
Eventually, the, the cage just drops, and you know how it is. Oh, these guys have armorers as well. And the prices are a lot better over here. They're a lot better over here. So we're just gonna... What? Are we gonna cozy up to these folks? Do we think these prices are good? Do they have anything bad going on? Rebuilding effort. Yeah. If I could bring... Yeah, it's probably not gonna... I don't think those prices are good for the for the weapons. A man approaches from the side of the road. He's dressed in a peasant's garb. Dust covers Donbert the steward's stable. Oh, yeah, he took us somewhere. That's where my... Oh, he points to uh, an, uh, a spot. Uh, that's where my demonic statuette used to sit. It's a spot that's cleaner than the rest of the table. If you couldn't tell, it's gone. The thieves who took it should be easy to track down. They're good thinkers in the night, those brigands, but they make mistakes aplenty during the day. Footprints, crowns ill-spent. You should be able to track them down with ease. Yeah, crowns ill-spent. You're just gonna go and get... How much did they pay? Go to the market and ask around. How much did, did they pay for this, uh, I don't know, sash? Oh, they really overpaid. Oh, it must be the brigands then. That's how it works. So, um, oh, you have a taxidermist. This is pretty important because now we have the recipes. And I can keep track of what's going on. So we have reinforced throwing nets as well. Instead of the normal throwing nets. They... Chance to break free is reduced by 15%. That's proper stuff. And this actually might make a huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and get reinforced throwing nets. Because that sounds like the reason I kept the throwing nets with me all this while. Um, so I got poisoned oil. That's to coat your weapons with things. I think it only works the one time. No, it's an upgrade, I think. No, it isn't an upgrade. It's got a plus, but it's not used like that. It can, it's a potion. And we got paint remover. I wish I could find paint remover. I couldn't find it last time I went to the hardware store. I need paint remover. I don't need it anymore. I make do with the with the 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 the, the thing that you remove paint with, the the sandpaper. That's the one. Okay, my throat is making weird noises, but we're gonna kill some fools. That's uh that makes up for the weird noises the throat makes. Where are they? Oh. Well, we're fighting them in their favorite territory, the night. Uh it's uh they got some raiders. Raiders are, are the bad are the bad people. There's brigands here, just as expected. But they are handing the demonic statuette to a man in dark ragged clothes. Your presence, unsurprisingly, brings a halt to the transaction and both the thugs and the ghoulish figures take up weapons, and that picture over there is like mwah, fantastic. Unfortunately, it's a necromancer. I figured it would be a necromancer, but that's really bad. Wow, I also did not consider other things. We're gonna make do. We're gonna make do. Definitely not a problem. Nothing is bad. Nothing terrible is gonna happen. I could flee. As far as I'm aware, it, like, we're not gonna fail the mission. Because you can hunt them down again, and the necromancer just goes off. Unless we need to hunt the necromancer down, which would potentially be a good thing. Now, the in all hi, uh, in all likelihood, what's gonna happen? Hmm. Well, hmm. What's gonna happen is that the brigands are gonna defend the night the the necromancer. So we're just gonna wait. There's no there's no real thought at the beginning. There's real thought over there, though. There's plenty of splitting, though, so I like that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Ilias is good, so spear wall there. You're getting out of there. Um, Sakreen is not good. Sakreen is very injured, feeling sick. Uh, but Sakreen's pretty fast, so we're probably gonna move him around. Should I move him around right now? Uh, there's eight of them, which means there's three of them staying back. So I'm just gonna move you over there as a sort of a bait. And then I have Hamrad, who sucks. Uh, but we're we're, we're, uh, we're uh, gonna wait a little bit there. And then I have Matt Larkin, who doesn't. So, uh, spear wall there. I probably should have pressed F. Uh, and then we have Brian. And we have Bernard, who is just d devastated. He's just, he's feeling, he's, he's bad. He's in a bad way. Um, so I'll, sending those two up might be a good idea. Uh, and taking a shot, like having them spot things for me might be a good idea as well. 
Uh, let's see, 20%. Wow, that's immediately a crushed windpipe with an arrow. That's pretty good. 30% misses all the things. Uthuru can go in, say hi to one of them. Probably that guy would be a good idea. 62 misses, pull back. Um, yeah, you can't do much. But you could hypothetically move over there and just mess with that guy. Because that wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Because then you go over there, spear wall over here. Wow. Okay. And now they have a zombie. But the zombie doesn't matter. Maybe. Uh, but they're also unprotected. Or rather, the necromancer is unprotected. So I'm going to go over here with Heimrad and Spearwall. A terrible idea. I'm certain he's going to backfire tremendously. Uh, and uh, I want to go over here to stun you. Because you're, you're bad trouble. You jerk. Hmm, attacking from afar. So, that guy needs to go. That's... It's not great. Can shoot you though, 30. Actually landed some shots there. Can move you over here. That guy is a problem. Um, 81 actually lands the hit. Gets a dog out. Dog. Doesn't scare anybody. Doesn't hit anybody either. Uh, so that zombie. What do I want to do? I want to attack that guy. That was a bad idea. There's a zombie over here. Zombies being controlled. Bad. But it's all because... I mean, I really have very little choice here. I can rotate, though. Should I attack you? Or should I... I'm gonna spear wall. Or shield wall, rather. Um... Amrad goes in, but that's a bad idea as well. Because what I want is Brian. Brian is actually going to be able to stun the Viderganger over here. I think. Unless he's immune. Armed with a shield. Yes. That is pretty good. So that is a kill. Now, the hope. Um, let's just rotate. Bernard is a, a tremendous consideration to protect. Uh, yeah, that's why I brought two people up there. And that's a bad thing back here. But that's a miss, so I like that. Uthuru uh, has a 36 over here. That guy's not going. So Uthuru moves in. And 73 kills that guy in the face. Denied at arms. This thing. That's another... That's good. He's not resurrecting anybody. So what we need to do is I need to send... Heimrad in here. And start stabbing. Dog. Goes there. Oh, that's... Yeah, he goes first. Fortunately, he sucks on account of being dead. Okay, that's pretty good. And, like, these weapons are not as, as good at... Uh, are not as good at defense. Or are, are not as good at attacking as they would otherwise be. Uh, were we... Oh, that's a bad idea. Should I should have done something different here. Should have, like, gone over there. Should have done something different. Okay, um, 54 lands a hit, and I think that's an eye that's gone. Uh, I can't move you. We're just gonna need to go for it. 40%, he's fleeing. That's beautiful. Oh, now I can rotate. That's, that's beautiful as well. And I can come over here and, uh, start dishing out vengeance. So... 84. Now, the good thing is, the good thing about this is that now that he is... Oh, yeah. yeah it's going well. Uh, now that he's engaged, the Necromancer is going to have the tendency, as far as I know anyway, to not... Uh, or not to... Um, uh, not to actually resurrect anybody. So I like the idea of that. Uh, let's get Bernard in here. Because he needs to pull some weight as well. Especially considering he has a, an axe. That guy dies. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go over here. Oh, that's just bad news. I'm, I'm giving... Well, I keep forgetting that this guy has range and, and it's, it's bad news. Fortunately, I have somebody over here that uh, that will be able to stun. No, I don't. Well, I can shoot you a couple of times. Oh, this is a bad idea. Run. I don't want you being hit by that weapon. That's a flea. And that's me right on top of you. Saying that's a flea is a really weird way of saying it. But I said it. Uh, and... Uh, Let's just get you out of the way. Mmm. That's good. That's a good miss. That's a hit. Okay, move in. Okay. And then you hit that guy. There we go. Knight at arms. Maybe I should, shouldn't have done it quite like that, though. But uh, that's pretty good. Ah, Hamrod is very tired. Bernard manages a kill. Brian manages a kill. And uh, Matt Larkin just goes for it. Oh. Where's the doggy gonna go? For the person who's fleeing. It's fair enough. I can't shoot you. Can't do much from there. Can I shoot from here without... Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. From here. 27. Misses. Fortunately, the necromancers are terrible at fighting. But all that was a calculated risk. In regards to... I mean, that's definitely how you fight the necromancers. You, you go right at them. Because they are such dangerous enemies. When they're... Because, like, the zombies themselves protect the necromancer. They do it on purpose. The bandits didn't do that. And that was their demise. Well, I guess it would be their demise anyway. Because the necromancer... Wouldn't be able to do much if the if the bandits didn't die, but and I'm also not sure if the um, I'm also not sure if the zombies would have attacked the bandits because in like in all likelihood they should have attacked each other, but I don't think the, the game is ready for that. It's hiccup, I'm sorry. So well, you found those responsible for stealing the demonic statuette and put them to the sword. Now you just need to put the demonic statuette back into Donbert the steward's hands and get your reward. And also, we need to end the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.